أبناء الطلبة أهلا وسهلا بكم بالمحاضرة الثانية موضوعنا اليوم بالبرفينشن هو الدنتال كيريز دنتال كيريز is a chronic disease affecting a large number of population the disease is fundamentally a microbial one affecting the calcified tissue of the teeth beginning with the localized dissolution of the inorganic structure of a given tooth surface by acid of bacterial origin followed by disintegration of the organic matrix. Here we can see in the lower arch of the deciduous dentition, we can see the dental caries affecting primary molars uh, C and uh, D and E uh, here we can see the destruction is a very obvious and that may be lead to the loss of the teeth in future in the another word it's the uh, yeah, dental caries outcome of interaction involving oral bacteria and dental tissue like enamel dentin etc the disease is a progressive and if not treated may be expand in the size and progress to the pulp leading to the pulp inflammation thus pain and discomfort of the patient and the end result will be loss of the vitality than loss of the tooth. Here we can see in this uh, multiple photo, in the number one, we can see the destruction within enamel surface and the invading of the dentin. of the dentin. In the second photo, and the destruction reached to the pulp in the photo number three, degeneration of the pulp and necrotic pulp in the photo of the fat and the periapical changes is a very obvious and the clear in the photo number five dental caries is a multifactorial disease it is a result of a complex interaction between host blood diet and time there is another model of etiology which is a group the first group include tooth saliva behavior and attitude of person while the second group include cariogenic bacteria but the finally third group include diet and socio-economic status of the patient here in this scheme we can see this circle the interaction between microorganism teeth carbohydrate and the time these four circle interaction between them mm, mm, inside the large circle of the saliva mm, as an environment mm, of uh, interaction and consider as the buffering mm, agent mm, mm, of environment therefore there is interaction may be lead with the tie may be lead to the dental caries and the progression in depend upon the multiple factors the first one host factors as a geological factor this involve susceptible tooth and saliva in addition to the subject him or her cell Teeth vary in their susceptibility to dental case from one surface to other and from one subject to other. There are several factors affecting tooth susceptibility as position of the teeth. Posterior teeth are more liable to be affected by caries than anterior because it is inaccessible correctly by the tooth brush number two morphology of the teeth deep bits and fissures allow for more accumulation of a plug and food debris thus lead to increase the susceptibility to dental caries position or and morphology of the teeth are determined by hereditary 
factor. Therefore, Caucasian population differ from the uh, African and Asian differ from the European people and according to the literature and the paper uh, we can see this uh, varying between this population and as a hereditary factor is a very clear composition of the teeth Composition of the teeth, the teeth compose of inorganic element, 96% in the enamel, 70% in dentine, and then organic element and water. The composition of the teeth is affected by environmental factor like diet and nutrition. Inorganic component involve Number one major element as a calcium, phosphate, hydroxyl group. These are constituents of the hydroxyapatite crystals of uh, tooth structure. Number two minor element in the teeth like zinc, copper, magnesium, fluoride, and the other types. These elements may be incorporated the enamel crystal in substitutions with one if its major element as for example substitutions of calcium ion by magnesium. Here we can see the hydro calcium hydroxy appetite with magnesium or substitutions of the hyd of the hydroxyl group by fluoride ion fluorohydroxy appetite. This incorporation may be take place either in the pre-eruptive stage, including all layers of enamel and dentine or in the post-eruptive stage involving outer enamel surface only. Akid idha bil pre-eruptive all the layer rahi kun more stronger, more resistant to dental caries. While if in the post-eruptive stage which lead to the uh, effect uh, only on the outer surface, like topical uh, fluoride. <clears throat> Some of these elements, when incorporated, may be increased resistance of the teeth to dental caries, as a fluoride ion, tin ion, zinc ion, citrodium, and malibidium uh, ion. While other elements may be increased susceptibility to dental caries such as magnesium and copper. However, the rule of other elements may be not well understood as a potassium and um, aluminium and another types of ion. Saliva affect caries etiology through the rate of the secretion. Saliva have a big role during dental caries progression. Therefore, affect the caries etiology through the rate of secretion and composition. Saliva affect the integrity of the teeth by the number one. Composition, composition of buffer system, calcium and phosphate. Number two, the cleansing action of saliva. The cleansing action of the saliva, oral clearance, it can affect the number of oral microorganism and food debris um, from the mouth. Number three, the oral immune system, the oral immune system is specific and non-specific affect to a large degree 
the karyogenic bacteria. Number two, the subject, the behavior, attitude, and dental knowledge affect the caries etiology. These can be influence the oral hygiene of the person as well as his dietary habit. Number three, dental plague. Dental plague, plague quantity and quality greatly influence caries etiology. Bacteria adhere to the two surface and uh, ferment carbohydrate causing release of the acid, thus demineralization, demineralization of the two surface, surfaces, karyogenic bacteria involve mutants, tryptococci, lactobacilli, and the other. Number four, diet. Diet, sweet conceptions, especially between meal, may be lo- lead to the continuous drop of يعني, decrease in the number of the pH and not allowing the enough time for the pH to return back to the normal, thus demineralization of the teeth and loss of the mineral occur. Then high العوامل اللي هي راح تأثر لي composition, rate of secretion of the saliva, subject behavior, knowledge, attitude, dental plaque, quantity and quality, diet, type of the diet. Now we talk about development of the dental caries. Theoretically, when these all factors are present, dental caries develop Dental caries is an interaction between pH, mineral flux, and solubility of the two surface. Enamel sieve concept. Enamel sieve concept phenomena. This is phenomena is very important. This phenomena uh, occurs or take place inside the enamel is a very um, Uh, important after sugar consumption there will be an increase in the hydrogen ions in the dental black and this hydrogen ion causing an increase in the pressure in ingredients and this will be lead to the dissolution of hydroxyapatite crystal to their ionic component. These ions will be diffused to a dental black leaving behind micro space. And this is phenomena occur during etching pr- procedure. We must remember that during etching procedure, the micro spaces is occur to increase the retention of the composite or filling, interior filling. And or posterior composite filling. Therefore, by an increase of the pH due to the action of buffer system and termination of carbohydrate, a remineralization episode will be started. Calcium, phosphorus ion, and the other will be diffused back to the enamel from the dental black. The precipitations of the ion will be in form of the variety of a complex salt crystal. In ascision, in ascision of demineralization and the remineralization cycle, if the sum of the demineralization is greater than remineralization, There will be a continuous loss of the mineral and thus porosity than cavitation than dental caries uh, occur. And finally, uh, we uh, take 